Hello everyone, welcome to another War Leader PvMP video. Today I've got 1v1s to show you. I finally managed to record enough to make a, a complete video after having lots of stuff that really wasn't worth showing. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, for these fights, I believe one of them might be at 6 Audacity. The majority are all done at 7 Audacity. So <clears throat> I'm maxed out on that whole stat now. And that's pretty much uh, where it all is. Anyway. Let's get started. All right, first up is Mannequin. And Mannequin finds me in this little stand of trees here near the East TA Ford. Uh, I was in there killing some bears. I did manage to drop the one that I was on just before he attacked. I uh, still got the debuff on me from it, but really not too bad. Uh, as you can see from his strategy, his whole battle plan is stack dots, kite, and use a lot of crowd control. So uh, kind of typical lore master behavior in any situation. Uh, I do have full audacity. So I feel confident that I should be able to outheal the damage that gets put on me with uh, that extra mitigation that I've got, and pretty much just push in, do a, a full DPS rush, and blow through him. Uh, he's got a couple trail food buffs. I believe one of those is for run speed, and the other one is the uh, uh, something else, probably resistance or who knows what. Uh, but I don't think either one of them is actual cooked food. Uh, I don't actually check, so I can't tell you on that. <laughs> Well, as you can see, he's putting down a ton of damage. I've hit get a grip, uh, but I'm still just eating a lot of damage. Uh, my tactical pot's off cooldown, so I should hit that very shortly here. I really need to use that a little more effectively. Uh, there we go with <coughs> quitters never win. I uh, got three heals there just because of the timing of the stuns there from that one power of fear buff. Uh, but I've only taken off a little over 3,000 health and he's still going strong. It, he's, he keeps on healing himself right back up. I think part of it's from flanks and stuff. There he goes with the power drain. I do not care at all about power drains. It is a non-issue. War leaders can manage their power quite well. And with 7 audacity, I mean, the power management stuff for war leader, it is so easy, it's almost cheating. <laughs> I actually should have let him power drain me and not interrupted him just so that I could waste time putting more damage on him. That would have been a really good idea for me, um, now that I think about it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going into commander stance. This is pretty much going to be my last chance to fight him. If I can keep up with the damage this game put out in commander stance, heal through it, then I can beat him by eventually wearing him down, but it's just not happening. I, in all honesty, I should start leaving now while I've still got 8,000 morale and would be able to get across the river. I'm still trying to put damage on him and kill him. I've actually, in defensive R as well, trying to mitigate more. And there's a couple of troops watching me, so if I were to try to take off and leave, it's, all, it's very likely that they would actually interfere and just go ahead and try to drop me. <clears throat> but, eh, instead I'm still trying to actually kill him. The thing is, he still has man heal, he still has the uh, Wisdom of the Council available. Uh, he's He's still at 3,000 morale, I just have not been able to get through the amount of healing mitigation he has, and he's been just putting down so much damage that I cannot compete with it. And it's just the problem with Freep versus Creep Balance. They do too much damage and don't take enough damage from us. We, <laughs> It's just total disparity. And the amount of damage that we put out is so low that limited healing, like the heals from flank and stuff, are easily able to overcome what damage I'm not putting, especially as a war leader. And uh, now I'm starting to think, ooh, maybe I should run away. Uh, I'm really about 4,000 morale too late to actually run away from this particular fight. I mean, he popped a whiz in the council, he's back at the 5,000. Hey, he's probably put out um, only like four or 5,000 less healing morale than the damage that I've put on him. Whereas I've taken, oh, probably a good 40,000 damage already trying to get out of here. I really need a crit, but I don't get one, and uh, I'm going to go down right here. Got the heal, so it's a little bit delayed, but got a big crit, and then just finished. Alright, so shortly after that, I came wandering around, and I was actually trying to pass through by TR Res to get somewhere else, but Captain found me, so I go ahead and go after him. Now, previous Captain fights that, it, that I've shown from uh, Rise of Isengard and Audacity and all that stuff, 
have been against the uh, Hands of Healing traded captains, and they've ended in draws. This particular captain is not Hands of Healing traded. I think he is pretty well decked out in terms of Audacity gear and stuff, but I'm pretty sure that he is Lead the Charge spec. And well, when a Lead the Charge captain tries to go up against a War Leader, well, this is what happens. As you can see, he's just not making a whole lot of progress into my morale bar. I'm managing to stay on top of the healing and everything, even from Baller's stance with RF command, and I'm just shipping away at his health pretty steadily. power pool is almost completely exhausted now. Thanks in part to the Banner of Terror, but mostly captains do run into power issues after they've been trying to fight for a while. And unlike the other captains that have been uh, shown on my particular video, he's using the Banner of Morale, uh, or Banner of Hope rather, which is morale, so he doesn't have the additional power regen from Banner of Victory, and that really made a big difference there. So I was able to easily clean him up. Now. This particular hunter came running by me, I had time to see them, turn on my recording, and then actually come after them, and they missed me the entire time. That's just a problem of tunnel vision. I, I should not be able to stand right there next to a tree with them running all the way down that path next to me, having multiple opportunities to see me and them not seeing me. Instead, tunnel vision missed it, and now she's running away, which is just giving me the opportunity to freely attack, do more damage, put her further down. Uh, she's trying to get the hobbits in here because obviously having been surprised from stealth and all that stealth I say <laughs> doesn't feel confident with trying to fight me I'm gonna have to pick up a couple more hobbits on me this is gonna cause me problems I've already had to use quitters so that's not good at all and uh, actually this number of hobbits these could cause some serious problems I should no oh, I already used my my pot so I can't remove the disarm and uh, there went Grip, uh, used both of my very big heals, still taking a ton of damage, and that's just not a good position for me to be in. Uh, Rubinia still has Strength and Morale available if she chooses to use it. Uh, I decide not to go away, but to swing back around since she is pursuing, try to get in here, put some more damage on. The debuff landed on Rubinia, so that is going to give me a much better chance of actually getting her. Got the heal off, stunned, so that I'm going to get another easy little crack the whip very very close in terms of health here <laughs> and there we go managed to put her down right there with black speech and uh, my morale pool is just not very good at all 600 500 health but I'm away and now here I am on my reaver and uh, this is a kind of impromptu fight club thing going on. A lot of people are trying to fight Strobe. I know that I'm not going to stand a chance against the Runekeeper. I've only got four Audacity on this guy, and I only just hit rank six the previous evening. But I'm I'm willing to try my hands with this champion. Uh, not very well, not really known or anything. Uh, as you can see, only about rank four or three, something like that. So, uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> now, as you can see, this champion is just taking a ton of punishment looks like no audacity whatsoever uh, did not do anything to remove being disarmed for that so pretty much got the entire duration there no bubbles whatsoever I, I just got a free dev strike and all of that and already dead that's just not something that you typically see champ fights don't usually go that way and uh, finally here's me solo and Creeps have tunnel vision. Yep, as I say. Because they came all the way down the hill, went up there, pulled them, come all the way back up, and I was standing there the whole time. And so I'm just waiting around here for uh, my opportunity to strike as soon as the tyrant's on them. Now, they'd actually reset the tyrant just a little while before because Elixir got killed, and that was how I knew they were in the area I was, I'd been coming by. But now they finally see me when I start moving, so unfortunately, I've given myself away. But... Honestly, for everyone on, on both sides, 
you need to pay better attention to your surroundings. That That is just not right when you have people who are going back and forth in front of you and they don't even see you, which two of the fights I showed were, were like that. Uh, they're resetting the tyrant, so I'm not going to pursue because getting into a fight with a runekeeper and a minstrel when you're solo is just a quick way to die. So anyway, I had a lot more fights that I've participated in, some that I tried to record. The thing is that a lot of these fights have been really one-sided. I mean, even some of those ones were pretty one-sided, but uh, one-sided in terms of being very boring. Uh, burglar fights where they jumped out from stealth, where I, sometimes I didn't even have my fraps running, couldn't record it or anything. Uh, some of them were just completely boring, showed absolutely nothing. Other ones I just couldn't record. I, I had a fight with a runekeeper, but trying to record it, my frame rate dropped so stinking low, I had to turn off the recording in order to do anything. So, finding 1v1s has just been a lot more challenging for me, <laughs> but, but I've, apparently I figured out what I was doing wrong in terms of trying to actually find people to get these solo fights and record them and all that. So, I should be able to find more for the future and all that. And of course, Rohan is coming out, so yeah, we'll see how much things ramp up before Rohan starts and uh, how things progress. After the expansion immediately launches, I'm going to have plenty to say about the state of things once that comes out and all. So, uh, anyway, good luck and have fun out there. Ugmog is out.